up guys I'm sure some of you guys know that when you change your tire size whether you go bigger or smaller your speedometer changes for example like when you go smaller your speedo reads faster when you go bigger your speedo reads slower and even when you change your gears it affects your speedometer as well because your speedometer is calibrated for the stock tire sizes and your stock gear ratio and I'm not gonna get too into depth about the scientifics of it I'm pretty sure if you guys google it you guys will find the answer but bottom line is that with 33's and my 488 gear ratio my speedometer is off so I actually calibrated the ultra gauge to read the correct speed and the uh, gauge over here is a truck speedometer speed you guys can tell that it's maybe like several miles per hour off so with the ultra gauge i made it kind of close to the wise app uh, miles per hour GPS and I did the calibrations through there but even if I have the correct speedometer reading on the ultra gauge I still want to have the correct reading on the truck speedometer gauge because that affects the odometer as well so if it reads faster then I'm pretty much gonna like rack up miles faster it's gonna show that I drove a lot of miles because I was going faster even if I didn't drive that much miles so I'm gonna pretty much show you guys what I'll be doing to fix it so we got the speedometer calibrator right here jet performance Aki speed and installation guide online and various connectors so I was searching up how to wire this and I know one of the wires go to ground I don't know if it's green or something <laughs> and then one goes to a 12 volt power I don't know which one and then two of them connect in between your speed sensor so it's also recommended to mount this inside the cab just so it, it won't get dirty from anything like debris if you mount it underneath the truck but I'm probably gonna mount it like or like hide it whoop, hide it inside my glove box and route the wires through like my shifter so this guy is gonna have to come off shift knob comes off and then we Pop this out. And I'm going to probably run my wires through this side. Took off the center console trim to run my wires through. But I have like a transfer case leak down there. And I'm not too sure if it's these, if it's the shifter itself. So. Since everything is open, I'm just gonna go ahead and re remove this and reseal it. Alright, got it clean. Got some sealant on the shifter. And now, it's going back in. So the purple and green is what goes down there. Is what connects to the the speed sensor so I'm just gonna fish some length of purple and green down there and we're gonna go underneath the truck and splice it into the speed sensor so we got our wires pulled down and now I pulled back the installation or the wire loom going to the speed sensor and it says for this year Toyota Tacoma to cut 
this green and red wire so we're gonna go ahead and cut that and then now the green wire connects to the wire that's still connected to the speed sensor and the purple wire connects to the other side so pretty much the way this thing works is that um, the speedometer calibrator it intercepts the signal and goes into the module and sends a new signal out which calibrates the speed to the correct the actual speed and now we're gonna go ahead and drip these wires and use these crimps to connect them together once that's done we're gonna go ahead and tape these wires put the loom back on and make nice a little bit I just got the shifter trim all buckled up and now I just got to connect the positive and negative wire so the positive wire goes to a switch 12 volt source and I'm gonna take my switch 12 volt source from the cigarette lighter plug and the black wire is just a negative so it goes to ground which I'm probably just gonna put it to a screw over here all right everything is back together here's the moment of truth but first I need to um, set this so what this pretty much is is a knob you screw like a certain amount of turns for the percentage of what you're trying to calibrate and on Jets Performance's website there's like a chart you follow so according to this chart on the instructions for the speedometer calibrator um, it shows the formula and calculations of what numbers to input when you gear ratio so sorry don't mind my finger now it's been a rough day you have your old gear ratio and your new gear ratio then there's your number as well as your tire size your old tire size and new tire size that's how much like turns to turn it and there's a formula of like you gotta add the stuff minus eight if you guys get this exact same one then just gotta follow the instructions but that's pretty much how you do it and now we're gonna go test it test it out to see if it works which hopefully it does my car is still messy I'm gonna clean it later So I'm gonna compare the truck's speedometer with my Waze app because now the ultra gauge is gonna be different since the ultra gauge has like a calibration value after the speedometer reading from the ECU. So 20, about 20 miles per hour. Oh, it's pretty legit, almost there. And I've got 25. a little off I'm gonna have to pull over and adjust the calibrator a little after several times stopping on the side of the road I feel like I got it good going 20 
before I crash into something. But yeah. So I'm back home now guys. And I do feel like it also made a difference in shifting because you know how my speedometer used to read faster? Like at a stoplight when the light would turn green, I would gas it and it would say like I'm going 20 miles per hour when re in reality I'm only going 10 miles per hour. So the truck would actually shift earlier than what it should be and like after calibrating the speedometer it just feels better now. So yeah, that's pretty much all there is to it guys. So at least my speedometer is working good now, working properly. I'll be reading the correct miles and I know I'm racking up miles. Still going, still going strong. I think that's all for today's video guys. I wanna say thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and if you guys haven't subscribed yet, Hit that subscribe button. Shoots.